sea turtle season in Florida. It's just two weeks away, and the city of Jacksonville Beach is looking at changes to help protect the turtles. Yeah, meteorologist Danielle Giuliano spoke with Florida Sea Turtle Watch about the upcoming season and what's being done now. Casey Jones is the founder of Florida Sea Turtle Watch and hopes this year's sea turtle season will come with some improvements. They're a majestic animal. The beaches have been empty for the past few weeks leading up to the start of the season. But as we slowly return to the sand, it's important to keep an eye out for these sea turtle nests. Ballpark figure usually has anywhere from 60 to 80 nests. Last year there was 116. At the end of the 2019 season, there was an entire nest that hatched and the baby turtles went in the opposite direction of the water. We had sea turtles walking down First Street. This problem is largely due to artificial lighting along our beaches. Now Jones is trying to address the issue by working with the city of Jacksonville Beach and replacing all LED lights with amber lights. The issue we had here is, as you can see, there's a super bright white LED light right there. There's another one right on the dunes. Here at 101 Oceanfront South parking lot, they've already replaced their larger artificial bright light with a shorter amber light with a shield around it to help protect those turtle mothers during nesting season. They, they want to fix the problem. On Monday, the Jacksonville Beach City Council will take up a proposed ordinance that would put new rules in place for beachfront lighting with the goal of protecting the newborn sea turtles. The ordinance wouldn't just deal with the city's lighting fixtures. It puts new standards in place for lights with new construction along the beach. Danielle Giuliano, Channel 4, The Local Station. The Jacks Beach City Council meeting, that'll be virtual on Zoom. And you can find instructions on how to listen or watch on our website, news4jacks.com.